Hey everyone, it's Katie from Life with the Fultons and I am back finally for another pregnancy update. My last update was at, uh, the, um, was through 20 weeks and I am now almost done with 28 weeks. <laughs> I will be 29 weeks tomorrow. So, um, I'm going to break this video up into two parts and the first part is going to be weeks 21 through 24 and then the part two is going to be 25 through 28 so I'm going to film this together but I'm going to post them um, separately so here we go <laughs> there's um, one of the reasons why I haven't done an update is because there hasn't been a lot to update on really and I've also been really busy but now that it's been two months since I've done an update now there's like a bunch of stuff to update on so it's partially why I'm going to do it in two different parts and just because I feel like talking about two months at once is kind of a lot so anyway so weeks 21 through 24 is what I'm going to talk about right now and yeah let's go ahead and get started <laughs> sorry my kids and my dogs are outside so if you see me look that way <laughs> because I'm checking on them. So really, I'm mostly going to talk about pregnancy symptoms, um, aversions, cravings, and health and weight. So as far as pregnancy symptoms go, <sighs> I've had a couple of migraines, and I'm a person who gets migraines anyways, but I think just kind of like the added stress of pregnancy and probably not drinking enough water on a few days has triggered a couple migraines which isn't the funnest thing when you're pregnant it's kind of a little scary almost <laughs> just because migraines are really tough anyways and then to have them while you're pregnant is just it's like an added i don't know it's an added like factor that kind of just puts you on edge a little bit more but I've only had a couple of those. So anyway, so I've had a couple migraines during 21 to 24 weeks, but nothing to really, really worry about. I just kind of drink more water, go lay down, sleep it off, and um, feel better the next day. And then speaking of sleeping, that's getting a lot more uncomfortable. My hips are starting to hurt a lot more when um, I wake up, like in the middle of the night and stuff. It's because my hips are hurting that and I'm getting um, a lot of lower back pain when I wake up and of course I'm sleeping with like my pregnancy pillow and a body pillow and trying to like surround myself with pillows the pregnancy pillow that I have is just like a between the legs and under your belly kind of pillow and my belly isn't really big enough to rest on the pillow so much um, but it is kind of nice to just like sort of lean up against it and then have a different pillow behind me that I can kind of, you know, sort of go back and forth between. I haven't gotten any new stretch marks, but my previous stretch marks are becoming a little bit more visible. Um, like as stretch marks fade, you know, they get, what, like a shade or two lighter than like your normal skin. But now they're starting to kind of pink up a little bit more. So I can see them a little bit more, but um, I haven't really gotten any new stretch marks yet. I'm sure I will right towards the very, very end, because right now I'm still, even at, like, even though this update is about 21 to 24 weeks, but I'm actually 28 weeks right now, and even at 28 weeks, I'm still not really um, very big. But baby is, mo baby is measuring right on target. He's good. Um, He's super, incredibly super active. Like he just, he rolls all over the place. <laughs> and even the midwives have made comments about like how much movement he really has once they wake him up by trying to figure out where he is. Um, and at my last, at my appointment during this time, um, they couldn't really totally determine if he was head down because he was still kind of like rolled up in a little ball. But he was definitely vertical, which is something that happened in about 23 weeks. He moved from straight sideways to to up and down. So he definitely ran out of room to lay sideways in between my hips. So now he is straight up and down. Okay, and then like the one last 
super annoying pregnancy symptom. Maybe it's just because it's my third baby or I don't know. I don't remember my bladder being as weak in my first two pregnancies, but with this one, my bladder is so incredibly weak. If I like, for example, if I just like yell, like if I'm downstairs, my girls are upstairs and so I yell to them like, hey guys, come down for, you know, whatever it is. I have to like cross my legs when I do it. If I sneeze, if I cough, if I laugh too hard. Um, the other day, <laughs> one of the things I love doing to my husband, which is like kind of mean, whatever. Um, he's a really jumpy person and so I scare him a lot. <laughs> and the other day I scared him and I peed a little. Oh my God, it was, it's ridiculous. But so anyway, so really super, super, weak bladder, it's not fun, but what are you gonna do, right? So let's talk about aversions. I've talked before in my previous updates about how I've had aversions to really sweet stuff, but at about 22 weeks, 23 weeks, that kind of went away and it also went away with my morning sickness. I've had morning sickness up until um, pretty much 22 weeks. Not every single day, like it's gotten better than it was in the very beginning, but um, it's still certainly like present, maybe like every third day as opposed to every single day. But with that was like hypersensitivity to sweet stuff, anything that had sugar in it. And at, like I said, about 22, 23 weeks, both of those kind of went away with each other. So that was really nice. <laughs> Um, and then cravings, the only thing I've really craved is rice and like soy sauce, like sushi kind of stuff. I don't eat anything raw, but um, just like, you know, like the vegetables and the soy sauce and the, and the rice is like so good right now. I think it's like the salty. And then another thing is um, baked potatoes. Baked potatoes with like salted butter. Oh my gosh, so delicious. So this baby does not like sweet stuff. He definitely likes the salty stuff, um, which I don't, <laughs> which makes me a little upset because I do like my sweets. Um, try not to get, you know, too many sweets, but I can't eat like any sweet stuff at all with that. So that's kind of subsided, which is really nice. I don't remember what my last weight was in the last video that I did, but um, total, I am up, I am up I think f five or six pounds from my pre-pregnancy weight at this point, which is good. Gaining a little bit more weight, definitely the weight held off for quite a long time. Gaining more weight, which is good. My midwives haven't made one comment about my weight though, even like with not gaining up through 20 weeks and then now gaining quite a few pounds in a short amount of time. Like they, they're totally fine with it. Everything's, he still looks healthy, everything's good. So his heart beats nice and strong. So they're not really worried uh, about any of that. I have gotten some baby gear stuff. I did film a haul. I don't know where the footage is. I think it might be on my laptop. So I'm going to try to find that before I do any more haul stuff in case I have to repeat. Um, I think I will show you a few things in part two of this video, 25 to 28 weeks. I'll show you a couple things, but um, as far as any more baby haul stuff, I have gotten a few things, but I'm going to wait to show them. <laughs> and then um, bump shots. So I'm not going to show you my bump right now because like I said, I'm at 28 weeks. But I am going to insert a couple of pictures. So I have two pictures. One at 23 weeks, which I'll throw up right here or here. Depends on which side I have more room on. <laughs> um, one at 23 weeks and one at 24 weeks. And I remember when I took these pictures, I felt like overnight I had just gotten so much bigger. My husband didn't really see a big difference, but I, this was like when he turned from sideways to straight up and down, I felt like my belly got a lot bigger as his butt or his head or whatever <laughs> was kind of poking out more in the front. Um, so you can definitely see like a bump happening now. I definitely look pregnant enough that strangers like feel comfortable enough to 
make a comment here and there. I've only gotten a few. Yeah, I think that's about it for right now. I'll see you guys in part two.